Hey everyone, so today is the 17th of 2020, September 2024 and I just went back from IMA 2024. Uh, I'm still very excited as you can see because I saw a lot of my students and they were very happy after the exam. I'm very stressed but also very happy because uh, if you saw a different uh, video I just uploaded a few hours ago, the IMA was very weird but very easy, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I every year I go to the exam centers and something I notice is that many people ask me during the year so my students ask me hey what should I expect on the exam day so I decided to maybe film a bit around the exam I didn't really want to film too much I have to be honest because everyone is so stressed I don't want to just you know push my camera around and be annoying when it's the most probably the most important day of everyone's life over there so I didn't really want to be annoying but I tried to sneak in very early to film stuff from a different building, like from the from the doors, from like a, a building next to. And I was I was able to actually film a bit of the hallway and stuff that I wasn't able to enter. But hey, I got some videos anyway. So I I'm going to show you some of the videos, very short videos, but it will give you a really good idea of how the IMA test day actually looks like. So. Here in Pavia, the exam actually took place at 12. They said 11, but then they say 12. They changed it last moment. I don't know why. Italians, it's okay. So the first thing you actually need to do is to arrive to Pavia, not at 11, not at 12, but you need to arrive at 8.30. At 8.30, as you can see, I'm going to attach some of the videos right now. On at at uh, 8.30, you just have a huge line. So you have like this center, where a Q&A center, where you can ask, hey, what is going to be? What is what? Where do I need to be? And they give you like a sheet with all of the instructions and also what you can enter and what you can't enter with. They give you a bag, which is pretty funny. I find really funny. They give you a bag to put all of your stuff. So your phone, everything. And once you enter the building, of the building, not even the room. Once you enter the building of the exam room, they take this bag away from you and send you to kind of stand in queues to enter the different rooms. Be outside and then enter the different rooms. So because it was from 8.30 and the weather was really nice today. So it was from 8.30 all the way until 11 a.m. Just to wait, 12 a.m., 12 p.m., a.m., p.m. <laughs> it was a lot. It was four hours almost of just waiting. So what I recommended to my students is, okay, stay outside. The weather is super nice and just enter kind of the last moment. Let's say enter 8.30, 11. And we will just talk and I just talked and we chilled a bit and I was able to really help them to relax before the exam. And we just laughed and stuff. That's the ideal thing you really, in my opinion, you should do when it comes to this uh, before the exam. Don't really talk to anyone because everyone is super stressed. So they kind of wait in line and at about 11, 11.30, they enter the room. Everything was quiet. There, was, there were kind of renovations around, but they also stopped because they probably told them to stop. So they were, it was very, very quiet. And they enter the room. In the room itself, from the video you could see on the screen, you can only have like water without a stick here, a bit of food and the analog watch, not di not digital one, which is, it makes a lot of sense. You can't have your phones, you can't have headphones, you can't have anything at all that is not in the video that I just showed you. So it's really important to remember, kind of to prepare for it. And also don't bring too many things because they will give you this bag and you will need to put it aside anyway. Uh, what I do recommend to all of my students, so today uh, it was actually, last month it was peak summer. This month it's suddenly winter. In the night it's like 5 degrees already. Last month in the night it was 20 degrees in the night. So in Europe, if you take the exam in Europe or outside of your country where you are not used to the different temperatures and weather, I told my students, hey, bring both cold and warm stuff. So you see a lot of the students because it's a tip I, I give to in my public groups and everything. And if you take the IMAT exam by the way and you watch this video just because you are kind of expecting to take the exam uh, in the future, check the link in the description for my IMAT course. So I saw all of my students who took my course for Pavia. So I saw like 15 of them today in Pavia, which was really, really nice. So I was very happy to see them in real life because I was teaching them on Zoom and I was teaching them one-on-one -on, -one on like Google Meets and stuff. And then we finally met for the first time on the IMAT day. And if you watch it, I really hope I was able to really help you relax a bit before the exam. Uh, but that's beside the point. Uh, I will also add links in the description so, to some more pictures and stuff from the exam day in general. Uh, but the general thing, just going back to topic, was the most important stuff was get winter stuff, winter clothing and summer clothing. 
because it might be very warm, very cold outside, but inside it will be completely warm. So because they will turn on the heater or something. So you don't want to really reach a point where you dress for winter and then you can take things off in the exam room and then you just boil in the exam room. The same thing also happens in reverse. So if it's super warm outside, they might freeze you inside the exam room and it might be super cold. So I tell my student, okay, listen, bring like hygienic stuff, bring cold stuff, bring uh, warm weather stuff, bring an umbrella always just to be like extra safe. It's super important because Europe, you never, you never know when it's going to rain. And in the morning today, it was actually raining. Then it was sunny. Then it was raining again. Then it was sunny again. If you're from the UK, you are your street. If you are not from the UK or from Europe, Europe, it might be new to you because a lot of my students who took the exam today, they are non-Europeans. So they came to Italy here in Pavia to take the exam and it was completely new to them, this very weird weather. Back home, it's, uh, it's still summer. Over here, it's already winter. So it's tough to really take into consideration. Something super cute that I noticed, uh, I remember when I took the exam in 2019, it was the same with my dad, but all of the parents, so all of the parents, uh, arrived with their with their children uh, to take the exam because usually the people who take the exam are like 17 18 19 20 the europeans the non-europeans are usually older so they all kind of gather outside and they were just kind of super eager and waiting for their uh, for their for their child to go out of the exam and then at about 8 1 40 100 minutes after 12 they started slowly going out and because on the exam day they call you one by one in really small groups. It takes like one hour for everyone to leave. So they call you in small groups, small groups to submit it. You get this paper, so this envelope, two envelopes if I remember correctly. One, you put the paper sheet. The other one, you put the answer sheet and then you put it in two separate envelopes. You have six, seven people to actually guide you and tell you exactly what to do. So don't be stressed about it at all. It's completely fine. Because everyone is stressed when it comes to this kind of stuff. So they tell you exactly what to do. They also kind of choose random people from the crowd, from the people who just took the IMAT, to be kind of an unbiased supervisor, they call it. It's kind of an ethical thing they do. It's part of uh, ethical exam taking, something like this. I don't, I'm not really sure about it. So they allow people to volunteer, people who just took randomly to supervise and see that they put stuff correctly and everything is without cheating and stuff. I find it very nice. I find it really honest to do this so you enter the room you sit at 11 30 you already sit until 12 so you are completely isolated for half an hour and during this half an hour they explain to you exactly what to expect they show you the instructions i will leave everything in the link in the description if you want to see all of the pdfs and stuff you get by email and everything because it's really important so give me a few days if you watch it right now after a few days it's probably not ready yet but it will be very ready very soon and you will have the links in the description what to expect because when you register you need to get an email and then a few days before the IMAT or a few months depends on where you enroll because this year it was in September the registration usually it's in July two months before the IMAT and not a few days before the IMAT which was a bit weird this year but maybe it will be next year you never know and what you usually get in the email is the instruction, the location, kind of the address that you need to take. I will put everything on the screen. So the, the locations, the instruction, which room you're going to be, what is the address, which hour you need to be there, this kind of stuff. So it's really important to track everything. You can join my WhatsApp groups as well. When the time comes, everyone just shares this PDF very quickly. So you don't need to wait for an email. You already have other people sending it to you. But anyway, when... The exam finished, so you have this one hour, you sit, you have all of the answer sheet and stuff, then the exam finished, you slowly submit it, you have someone, okay, put it over this paper over here, and then the answer sheet in separately over there, you put them separately with your name and sign it and everything. Then people started leaving, and the parents were, I think the parents were more anxious and eager to see their kids than the actual kid, because the, when the IMAT candidate kind of goes out of an exam, and I remember it myself, when I took the IMAT, it was kind of, it was very stressful, but I wasn't stressed during the exam. I was stressed after the exam because after the exam, what you're going to see, first of all, you will have like a, not a mental breakdown, I would say, but it will be, it will feel like something just, you know, you, you can breathe suddenly. And many people sometimes cry and they can, it's very hard to process this end of a journey kind of feeling. Like you just, the same feeling like when you graduate something or you graduate high school, it feels very like, 
<sighs> okay, I can breathe now. What do I do with my life? And what do you do with your life? So immediately after the amat, after a few hours, you have the A form. The A form is the kind of the sheet with the paper you just took and all of the answers are A. What does it mean? You can already estimate what you're going to get on the exam a few hours after. Two, one week after you have the anonymous results. So if you remember the barcode you put on the, ans the, on the envelopes, on the answer sheet, you will on the answer envelope, you will be able to kind of see what is your score. But I wouldn't worry about it at all because a week after or two weeks, depends on what they will do in 2025 and forward, you will actually have the rounds, the ranking. And the ranking is the important part. So the ranking is when you actually get your score and you see your score in, re score in relation to everyone else. So this is the actual important part. This is where you are actually going to see if you got accepted or not. And this is usually happen three, four weeks after the AMAT exam. During this time, just relax as much as you can. And if you, if you estimate a very good score, so estimate a very good score about the AMAT score, just prepare to go to Italy. And that's it pretty much. I just wanted to share with you kind of what to expect, some of small videos of the actual exam day, the instructions and everything, the queue. Really in general, seeing this will allow you to expect uh, kind of the, to prepare to what you're going to see on the actual exam day. And I, f I think it's very important to know what to expect because then the, you are there and it's really easy to kind of be more relaxed when you know what you expect. And thanks to the past students of my course who privately messaged me and reminded me to actually film stuff because they were the one who actually wanted me and gave me this idea to film stuff. So thank you very much. You know who you are. And that's it. I will put some helpful link in the description if you want some free study materials for the exam. I have plenty of them on my website. If you want more personal approach, coaching, guidance, live classes during the summer. I also have paid product. So I have both free and paid products on Intermed School for the AMAT exam. There is really a choice for everyone. If you don't want to spend money, the free material are more than enough to pass the exam on your own. If you want a more personal approach and me directly involving your preparation and really helping you through the steps, you can also see the AMAT course in the link below. And that's it. I wish you the best of luck and don't forget to check everything. And if you need any of my help and you want to send me a message, by the way, if you go to entermedschool.com, you will see a small icon with a message. It directly sends me a message and we can hop on a quick live chat. I will answer anything you want. Bye bye. Best of luck.